Okay, so this problem was number eight on page 51. It's talking about angle bisectors. And so I wanted to do a quick, quick review slash introduction to how an angle bisector can create proportional parts. So let's just say we have this triangle right here. And we'll call it A, B, C. And this is not the triangle from this problem yet. So let's say I have an angle bisector. Remember, an angle bisector will take an angle. This one's BAC. And it will cut it so that the, that those angles are equal. And so I'm going to cut this angle like that. We're going to assume that these are equal. A few things first is that doesn't mean that this is going to hit at the midpoint. Okay, it probably won't unless it's an isosceles triangle or an equilateral triangle. So we have this idea of an angle bisector. Let's just put some, some numbers in here. Again, I'm not using this, this one from number eight yet. But let's go, um, we'll call this one seven, and we'll call this one 10. It's not a right triangle, so we can't use Pythagorean theorem to find BC. Okay, so this angle bisector cuts these into proportional parts according to these sides, 7 and 10. So just using intuition, if I told you that this was 3.5 right here to D, what do you think this would be? Yeah, it would be 5. Now, again, this isn't a scale. This is a horrible example as far as numbers go. But the way it works is, yeah, since this is half of that, this has to be half of that. It's a proportion. Okay? So now I can go back and erase all this. Okay, so let's look at another triangle here. Same idea. I'm going to have, this is not the one yet in the picture. On the problem. So you have angle bisectors there. Okay. And let's say I have, again, I'm going to make a, try to do a little better job with how long these are. Let's call that six. We'll call this eight, maybe. And then let's call this one four. And we want to find this one. Why is that one four? I just made that up. I'm going to guess it's about four because. Oh, because we're going to do proportion. Proportions, yes. So we can set up a proportion if we can't figure out right away. We can go 6 over 4 equals what? What do you think? I want to set up a proportion 8 over x. And then from there, it's just a cross multiplication. 32 equals 6x. Divide, and what did you get there? x equals like 5 point. 5 and 2, 6, so 5 and 1 third. And we're good there. OK? So now let's actually look at the, the real problem here. OK, so here's number eight. We have A, B, C, D. Sorry, A, B, C, triangle A, B, C. And D is where the angle bisector meets B, C. So now we have A, B is 4. A, C is 6. This whole length, B, C, is 5. So they threw a little curveball from what we just looked at. And he wants us to find the other two lengths. OK. This is the actual problem here, number eight. So, like usual, if we don't, if we want to find a part, we want to find BD. Let's just call that X. If we call that X, what can we call CD? Five minus X. Five minus X. Okay. Now I have that. So let's make a proportion here. We can go. 4 over x equals what? 6 over 5 minus x. 6 over 5 minus x. Now we can still cross multiply. So we cross multiply. We get 6x equals what? 20 minus, 4x. 20 minus 4x. We can add the 4x to both sides. So we get 10x equals 20. 
So x equals 2. So this is 2. And what would CD be? 3. So once you show that, it's pretty straightforward.